everyone, we are from Group 1 and we are going to introduce you about Martha E. Rogers, the science of unitary human beings. So, do you know Martha Rogers? Martha Rogers was born on May 12, 1914 from Dallas, Texas and died on March 13, 1994 in the age of 79 years old. She began her college education at the University of Tennessee studying science and she received her nursing diploma in 1936 from Knoxville, Tennessee. In the year 1977, she obtained her Bachelor of Science degree from George Peabody College in Knoxville, Tennessee. And here are her other degrees. Rogers practiced her nursing in rural public health nursing in Michigan and visiting nurse supervision. She also practiced and studied nursing in Connecticut. She established the Visiting Nurse Service of Phoenix, Arizona. Rogers was also a professor and head of the Division of Nursing at New York University for 21 years. In 1951, continued her duties as a professor and became Professor Emerita in 1979 to 1994. Martha E. Rogers also published books and articles. She lectured in 46 states. She published the Rogerian Nursing Science News in Malinsky in 2009 and the Journal of Rogerian Nursing Science and many more. Martha E. Rogers received awards and achievements for being an honorary individual. She received honorary doctorates from eight such renowned universities. Here are her awards and achievements. Rogers' model of unitary human being consists of four major concepts such as energy field, openness, pattern, and pandimensionality. Energy field is defined as the fundamental unit of the living and the living. Field is a unifying concept and energy signifies its dynamic nature. Energy field is classified into two, human field and environmental field. Human field is a reducible, indivisible, pandimensional energy field. It is identified by pattern and manifesting characteristics that are specific to the whole and cannot be predicted from the knowledge of the parts. Environmental field is a reducible, pandimensional energy field and is specific to its given human field. On the other hand, universe of open systems implies that energy fields are infinite, open, and integral with one another. There are no boundaries that stop energy flow between the human and environmental field since they are a continuous process. Moreover, pattern explains continuous and innovative changes in nature. These changes give identity to the energy field. It is an abstraction. It reveals itself through manifestations. Each human pattern is unique and integral with the environment. The last concept is pandimensionality. It is a non-linear domain without spatial or temporal attributes. It is essentially a spaceless and timeless reality. This is the conceptual model of the science of unitary human beings by Martha E. Rogers. The four major components were based on the principles of homeodynamics. Homeodynamics refers to the balance between the dynamic life processes and the environment. Three principles of homeodynamics are resonancy, healthy, and integrality. Resonancy is continuous change from lower to higher frequency wave patterns in human and environmental fields. Helicy is continuous, innovative, and predictable, increasing diversity of human and environmental fields. Integrality is continuous, mutual, and environmental field processes. The major components of Rogers' model revolve around the building blocks of principles of homeodynamics. This explains the nature of and direction of the interactions between unitary human beings and the environment. Nursing is a learned profession in both science and art. Virginia nursing focuses on serving people in their environment. Integrality of people in their environments, operating from the beneficial universe of open systems, initiates and then of nursing as a science. While the art of nursing is created with use of science for human betterment, the purpose of nursing is to promote health and well being for all persons. Scope of nursing Nursing aims to assist people in achieving their maximum health potential. Maintenance and promotion of health, prevention of disease. Intervention and Rehabilitation According to Rogers, professional practice in nursing seeks to promote interaction between human and environmental fields, strengthen the integrity of the human field, and directly redirect the patterning of the human and environmental fields. Rogers defines nursing as an open system with continuous process with the environment. She defines the literary human being as a reducible, indivisible, fundamental field identified by pattern and manifesting characteristics that are specific to the whole. As she stated, Man is the unified goal possessing his own integrity. As such, body exists merely as an expression with the underlying energy patterns within the energy field. Martha Rogers uses the term passive health to symbolize wellness in the absence of disease and major illness. She uses health as a value term defined by the culture or the individual. According to her, health and illness are manifestations of patterns and are considered to denote behaviors that are of high value or low value. In Rogerian science, the phenomenon central to nursing's conceptual system is the human life process. It has its own dynamic and creative unity that is inseparable from the environment. 
The environment is an irreducible pan-dimensional energy field identified by pattern. Each environmental field is specific to its human field. Both change continuously, creatively, and integrally. Environmental fields are infinite, and change is continuously innovative, unpredictable, and characterized by increasing diversity. The Jordan model stresses that the totality of experience and existence is very important in today's healthcare system. Continuous care should be more prioritized than hospitalization. This model provides a philosophical framework where nursing is based on the theoretical knowledge that guides nursing practice. There are three components in the nursing process of Rogers' conceptual model. Pattern appraisal, mutual patterning, and evaluation. Pattern appraisal is where the nurse assesses and focuses on the human expression of perfection, experience, and perception to form a profile of the patient. Mutual patterning allows the identification of unitary themes that are predominant in the pan-dimensional like human environment being process, and evaluation centers on the perceptions emerging during the mutual patterning. The practice of Rogers' model includes the utilization of non-invasive patterning modalities that are used in increasing the potential of the human energy field, like acupuncture, aromatherapy, touch and massage, guided imagery, meditation, self-reflection, guided reminiscence, humor, hypnosis, dietary manipulation, transcendent presence, and music. Nursing practice in the science of unitary human beings is a continuous process of voluntary mutual patterning where nurses assist their clients in freely producing awareness ways to participate in their well-being. The Ardarian model guides nursing education programs to teach nursing as a science and as a learning profession. This model articulates the beliefs and values about human beings, health, nursing, and educational process. Rogers states that nurses must commit to lifelong learning and noted that the nature of the practice of nursing is a use of knowledge for human betterment. According to her, there is a difference between a technically oriented nurse and a professional nurse. Rogers also emphasized that professional nurses must be well-rounded and educated in the humanities, sciences, and nursing. Martha Rogers claims that research in nursing needs to scrutinize human beings as a whole and they have to coexist with the environment. She also states that the aim of nursing research is to accept and understand a phenomenon, and from this understanding, plant activities designed for healing. It is important for a luxurian researcher to choose the right method for investigating the person and the environment as interrelated to health. The science of unitary human beings research used quantitative and qualitative approaches. Nevertheless, descriptive, explanatory, and correlational designs are more appropriate for Bergerian models since they accept diverseness, totality, and change in pattern. An instrument used for measuring human environmental field phenomena is called a Bergerian instrument. Such instruments have developed and evolved over the years. The continual emergence of middle-range theories, research approaches, and instruments demonstrates recognition of the importance of Bergerian science to nursing.